you acknowledged in, in Omaha that like this whole pandemic and all that, it was hard to stay motivated, it was hard to get revved up, and, and yet you performed well at the trials anyway, and I was just wondering now if you were kind of like reloaded. Yeah, I mean, I would say that I performed okay. I wouldn't say, well, it wasn't it wasn't great by any means. I was pretty disappointed with it, but regardless, I made the team. But yeah, I'm on the same schedule as basically everyone else. Kind of this week is up in the volume a bit, not not quite to the peak of where we were, but back on the volume a little bit and then back down as we go to Hawaii. And, and the fact that you, I, I think it was, uh, yeah, uh, almost medaled individual world at 100 free at, at world championships. Did that, uh, I don't know, did, did that give you a jolt? I mean, did that change your yeah. perspective of what you can do? Um, yes and no. I was happy with the first time going under 48. Um, I guess I was also, I mean, fourth is kind of a tough position. I really wish I was in some kind of medal, but um, it was a really close race and it was uh, best time. So I was really, really happy with the 47 going the first time under 48 because that had been a goal for so long. I can't can't lie and say my goal has been to get bronze at a world championships for very long. <laughs> Michael Pegram. Hey, Blake, I wonder if you could compare the, the pressures of trying to make the team as a post-grad or, you know, professional versus when you were in college. Is it, is it a different mental uh, mental thing going on in your head when you go through the trials? This time, the uh, anxiousness of the meet really, I felt that very heavily. And last time, I don't remember that as strongly. The pressure is probably a little bit more now, but I feel like that's just because of the COVID year and everyone was like ready to do it. And then we're like, oh, let's just hold all this for another year. Um, but really the anxiousness was just like the last four weeks leading into Olympic trials felt like it took you know, a year for me. I just wanted to get to trials. I wanted to do it. Even sitting in the hotel room between prelims and finals, it just felt like time was just dragging by. Any other questions? I had one other, uh, like there's a, you are one of, um, one of uh, five Indiana uh, natives, uh, uh, you know, going to the Olympics. And, and we don't think there's been this many native Hoosiers on an Olympic team since 1976. I, I guess you, is there like a synergy or energy? I mean, it seems like Indiana high school swimming has just really evolved and, and, and it's, you know, it's not just one part of the state either. It's all over. Yeah. I don't, I, I love doing uh, high school state when I was in, uh, you know, in, at Chesterton, it feels like a mini NCAAs. I don't know how it would feel or the championship meets would feel at other, in other states where like y YMCA championships are like a big deal or whatever junior nationals or whatever meet they go to. I don't know how that feels, but yeah, being in Indiana, high school state is everything just like NCAAs is everything. And I, I, I loved it. Um, maybe some people would prefer different, um, you know, some kind of a different cycle. I know a lot of the things that I was hearing in high school is people wanted to race shaved more often because in high school, it was just high school state. There's no like not really any like mid season meet or like any other rest meets that you do. It's that's, that's the only one that matters. Um, but I, I, I love that. Kevin Brockway. Yeah, Blake, I'm just curious if you have any, you know, concerns about Tokyo, about, you know, the state of Japan with COVID and so forth and how careful you're going to be there in the Olympic village and so forth and what they've told you about maybe some procedure. No, I feel really comfortable with everything. I'm, you know, especially comfortable now after having the vaccine and like all the procedures. I mean, we just got off of our second Zoom call with USA Swimming where they were talking about all the procedures that we're going to have to go through to get our tests before we get on the plane and we get tested when we get off and we have to do all kinds of questionnaires and stuff. So I feel really confident in all the measures that they're taking to keep us safe. All right, last one, Michael Pegram. Hey, Blake, I just wanted you to maybe speak to the level of international competition for the relay and uh, who do you, who's, who's strong and is it, is it so strong that you have to worry about even making the final eight for, for that? Um, it depends on the relay. I would say different countries are better at certain relays. Um, Great Britain in, well, Great Britain is actually probably the favorite for the four by 200 free relay, I would say. Um, Australia is going to be very good too. I would kind of, kind of 
underdogs for a medal, honestly, in that relay. Um, but I would still say that we're the favorite, maybe Russia in the 400 free relay. Um, kind of just depends. Um, yeah, the medley again, Great Britain is going to be is going to be good this year.